Um, I, I uh, work for the uh, First Citizens National Bank. Uh, I'm a commercial uh, lender as well as business development officer. In very simple terms, explain to us the crux of your position. So every day when you wake up and you go to work, what is your aim? What are you attempting to do? But, well, what I'm attempting to do is to get to know as much as I can uh, about our clients and prospective clients. Uh, things such as uh, I, I, I try to meet with them and ask them you know, what kind of what you just asked me. What what do they do? What uh, products uh, do they make? What services do they sell? Who do they sell it to? How do they distribute it? Uh, how do they get paid? Uh, things of that nature, and and then I look for ways that the the products and services that my bank offers might help them to become more profitable, more efficient, uh, or or to help them achieve their growth goals and things of that nature. How how did you end up in the position you're at in terms of your career uh, and or education path? Okay. Um, as I left high school, I, I went right into uh, the college at, at Ohio State. Uh, I completed uh, actually three years of, of general business uh, types of courses there. Um, I, I was not, uh, I, did, I did not finish that degree uh, due to a variety of reasons. Um, but my education certainly didn't stop there. Mm -hmm. I, I ended up, uh, I took a, a, a position as a teller uh, at a bank. Uh, back to like 35 years ago, and, uh, and I just kind of through the school hard knocks, worked my way up uh, through the ranks within the banking industry, uh, and end up here. Uh, I'm supervising uh, several offices. I'm in charge of the bank's overall business development effort. Uh, I'm, I'm in charge of commercial lending for the bank, uh, the agricultural lending. Uh, I've done that. Uh, you know, I said my, my education didn't stop there. Right? Over, over the past 30, 35 years, I've attended hundreds of seminars and webinars and uh, things like that. Uh, I've attended uh, banking schools that are, are sponsored uh, by uh, the Ohio Bankers Association, sponsors a, a consumer lending school at Ohio University. They do a commercial lending school at Miami of Ohio. Uh, so I've been to both of uh, the Indiana and Ohio Bankers Associations uh, team together and put on a, 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 a agricultural lending school at Purdue. Uh, the American Bankers Association, I have attended their commercial lending school at the University of Oklahoma. So, I, you know, you, you just you keep doing those things. Um, I read a lot. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a real big proponent of that. Uh, I, I don't think it matters what industry you end up in. You, you have to uh, you have to stay relevant. You have to stay current, and, and uh, uh, reading can certainly help to do that. Uh, so uh, that's kind of just the career path that, that, that I've taken, and uh, I, I continue to be educated every single day. Great. Walk us through a typical day, understanding that I'm, I'm sure there's some variation on who walks through the door of the bank, and so each day could be different. But, you know, in general, what would an average day be like, you know, once you get into the office from, you know, to the time when you leave? I, I guess that's kind of one of the, the really uh, fun parts about uh, working in a community bank uh, is that everybody in our bank, and we have 80-some uh, employees, but everybody in the bank has an opportunity uh, to wear as many hats as they want to uh, at that time. So uh, my a typical day is, you know, it's kind of actually a funny term around here uh, because one, one day I, I might be, uh, I'll put on my credit card hat because I'm the administrator for the bank's credit card issuing program. Or I might put on my merchant services hat because uh, I also administer that program. Uh, I, I mentioned before, I'm in charge of overall business development effort for the bank, so uh, I, I may be doing that. I, I may be uh, counseling other, other loan officers on some of their larger commercial loans. So uh, a typical day could be, um, you know, come in, have a couple meetings, uh, run out the door, meet with a client, take somebody to lunch, uh, come back and put out some fires, uh, because uh, the, those things... 
things like that that just uh, typically happen. Somebody's uh, merchant terminal isn't working. Uh, somebody keeps their loan closed today instead of when it was scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, you know, those, those types of things just uh, naturally happen. So uh, typical day, uh, the, the most fun days are, are uh, busy and hectic. Mm -hmm. Okay. What would you say are the top three skills necessary to be successful in your position? What do you have to have? Um, you have to be a good listener. Uh, before, you, before you can take your products and services and go out and try to uh, make those be of use to anyone, you, you've got to take the time to listen to what their problems are, what their opportunities are, and then so you do that first and, and, and learn, like I had said earlier, learn as much as you possibly can about, about the business and then see how you can be of service to them. Mm -hmm. See how the products and services that you have to offer can help them uh, overcome their obstacles, uh, achieve their goals. So that uh, listening, I think, is, is the number one. Uh, I think it's, it's really important you have to make, you, you have to be committed to remaining relevant. Um, everything changes uh, every day. Practically, um, between with new technologies, government regulations, banking is a very heavily heavily regulated industry. So you you have to stay on top of not only what's going on in your own industry, but as a commercial lender, mm -hmm. you have an opportunity to be involved in practically every industry that's out there, uh, which is, is kind of is part of what makes it fun. But you've got to be able to talk to people on their own level. Uh, you know, if I'm if, if, if I'm talking to the to the guy who's running the machine shop, I, I'm going to have a little different conversation with him than I'm going to have with the current knowledge. Right. Uh, and and we deal with all you know those extremes and, and everything uh, in between. So you, you have to stay relevant. You, you have to stay on top of uh, current events within your own industry and 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 in business in general. And then I'd say that probably the third, uh, the third thing is you've got to really have a desire to want to help people. If if all you're uh, if all you're out to do is to uh, uh, push loans off on people or sell them checking accounts or whatever, that's that that really is not what it's all about. The the satisfaction in the job comes from helping somebody get a new product line into production and 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 to start making the sales or or helping them uh, expand their plant or, or, or make a purchase of that, of that big piece of machinery that's going to make them a lot more money. Uh, that's the fun part, and, and, and that's the part that's important to them. Mm -hmm. So if you focus on what's important to them, you're going to be successful. Okay. If someone wanted your job, what are two things that they could do in the short term to start heading down that path? What would you recommend? A uh, couple things, yeah, that's, uh, I, I think, first of all, I would say, I, unlike me, uh, I, I would certainly encourage them to, uh, uh, to complete their formal education, but also recognize that that's not the end of their, of their learning. Uh, so what, what, whether they've already completed a degree or not, they've got to keep reading, uh, People should, in this business, you should be reading at least one business book a month at a bare, bare minimum. Uh, trade journals, you know, this, this sort of thing. So, you know, again, it, it goes back to remaining relevant. Uh, so I think that's something they can do right now. Uh, the other thing would be go out and find a mentor or two or three. Um, not, not necessarily a banker, uh, although you could use a banker, but in any business owner or business leader um, who, who can take the time and help somebody understand in in real life what does it take to run a business to make it successful uh, to keep employees happy to you know to do all the things that a business owner has to do. Uh, so uh, I'm a pretty big believer in and if you want to be successful, hang around with some successful people. Uh, so, so find yourself a, a mentor.
Great. Those are all my questions, Kevin. Thank you very much. That was easy. Yeah. Thanks again. Okay. Thanks, Mike.